Hi, I'm Kevin York, the IC and Safety Specialist at ESNE. In this video, I will demonstrate how to properly rotate the coil assembly of a 100C contactor. But before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to our ESNE TV YouTube channel to view more videos like this one. Depending on how the product is ordered, this procedure is critical if you're looking to use the preformed wiring modules to create a two component starter setup, a three component starter setup, or just to simply access the contacts for any reason. First, let's take a quick look at the contactor itself. On the face, we have the plunger that would interface with any front mount auxiliary contacts. If you're using side mount auxiliary contacts, then the plunger would interface on the slot on the side of the contactor. On each side, we have two additional slots where the aux contacts would mount. Second, note the two rings on the top and the bottom that hold the contactor together. Now using a small screwdriver, carefully release those rings off the plastic tabs. Once those tabs are released, carefully lift the top portion of the contactor off. Be sure to catch the coil spring and pay attention to its orientation for reassembly. Once you have removed the top cover and the spring, you can lift the coil out of the contactor base and inspect if needed. If you are rotating the coil, rotate it 180 degrees so that the terminals are facing the opposite side of the contactor, then place it back down into the contactor base. Once the coil is properly seated, you can place the spring back on top and then replace the cover. Make sure to securely latch the rings that you removed on the sides that hold the top and bottom portions together. That concludes the coil rotation process. Thanks for watching, and if you have questions or need further assistance, please reach out to your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.